this is this is exactly what I wanted to do. Michael Preston and I have been teaching since 2003. I teach first and second year cadets. This class is actually all about citizenship and learning how to be a responsible adult in our democracy. This is not about joining the military. We use a military model to teach what the United States is supposed to be about based upon the Constitution. My family and I had decided we were moving to Colorado Springs regardless, and all of a sudden the job opened up. I managed to get to Colorado Springs and uh, get a job doing junior ROTC. I grew up in Dubuque, Iowa, and in Dubuque, when I was growing up, there was expectations of students, expectations of uh, being polite, having manners. I find the same thing here, that the expectations are, and the response is the same. Kids say please and thank you. They hold doors for one another. There is politeness. And I think when you go to the schools downtown, you don't find that same thing. Out here in security, Whitefield, it's just a little bit different. They treat each other better out here. I came to Whitefield because I married a pretty girl, and we came here to see some family members have a birthday party, and I ended up being interviewed for the job, and I've been here, and that was 17 years ago. It seems like a lifetime. I've been teaching 17 years. I teach NJROTC threes and fours, so your juniors and your seniors. I'm on the security fire department uh, board of directors. Uh, I belong to a member of the church and involved with a lot of community service projects, especially here with NJROTC. My idol was probably recently retired and passed away. A football coach of mine back in Charlottesville, Virginia, his name was Joe Bailey and he was the one that set me on my path. I like the fact that here at Whitefield, it takes a village to raise a kid, and I had two kids who went through Whitefield High School and graduated. And one of the biggest things I liked about this is the fact that as they grew up, they just didn't have one mom and dad. They had a series of moms and dads. It might have been my kids, but the teachers took ownership of those kids. There's a big misnomer going around about why NJROTC is all they do is run around yell, scream at each other, do push-ups, and that's all they do. We're much more than that give to each other and receive, and we give to the community, and we give to White Lives. ROTC is not just about turning into a little Hitler youth, it's turning them into these outstanding citizens that are going to be counted on to give back to the community as they have taken from the community. That gives them a sense of ownership, a sense of purpose, a sense of free to core, something that they want to give back to the community as well. I try to be a role model for the students and help them out as much as I can so that they succeed in life. My name is Tanya Gallagher. I have been teaching for a total of six years, four of which is at Whitefield High School. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a veterinarian. My idol was my dad. He told me that you can do anything as long as you put your mind to it. I wanted to come and work at Whitefield High School because it's more than just a community. They treat you like family. I I wear my love on my shoulder every day, so it's a good place to come to work and express myself. Believe it or not, come next week, it will be 18 years in the district. I have two children, and both of them were already students in the district, and then I had a neighbor tell me one day, Annie, there's a little boy at Sproul, and he's in a wheelchair, and he needs you. I applied for the job, and I got it. My name is Leanne Gonzalez. I love the diversity. I love the sharing and the bonding, and more than anything, I believe that Whitefield portrays love. We have a good school. I'm glad that my children went to Whitefield because of the fact of the diversity. I think that makes it a more well-rounded person. I'm a Libra, so I create balance, harmony, and peace, and that's what I bring every day to work. I try to be that extra little bit of something special that helps the kids guide their way through the four years here at Whitefield. We truly care about our students. We are involved in their learning and their well-being. While they're here, they are safe, they are nurtured, and they are taken care of. Our door is always open. And if a student is having a rough time emotionally, whether it be here or at home, they need to know that our door is open and they can always come in if they need to vent, if they need someone to cry to, if they just need a moment to sit in the back room, they're always more than welcome to come to this office. It's a safe place. We're here with welcoming you know, arms, any type of issues, so don't be scared to come in and ask for help. My name is Lindsay Millat, and I've been at Whitefield for not even one. My name is Lisa Stark, and I have been at Whitefield High School for eight years. My husband's in the military, so we've been here for about a year now, and I have two kids in the district at Talbot. I came to Whitefield from Whitefield Elementary. Sports was 
the main thing that I did growing up. I did gymnastics all growing up, so of course I always wanted to be in the Olympics for gymnastics, but let's be real, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> School nursing is definitely different than what I'm used to, but I like that it's more of a community base, not necessarily just one patient base. We don't see just one issue. I'm not just here to give medications. I am here for staff also. I don't know, teaching came to me very naturally. I've started when I was in high school teaching students how to play instruments and violins and I also taught skiing. Recently my idol is one of my good friends that passed away and she passed away this month. Her name was Swanee Pearson. She just embodied music and embodied love and passion and she wore crazy socks, so occasionally I will wear crazy socks. This is my fourth year in the district. I've been here, f oh my gosh, 13 years. My name is Sarah Miller. I'm the director of orchestras. I was asked to take over the program from Mr. Magalon. I needed a change. I felt like I could do more and needed to be more. The student population and the staff in this side of the district are just so communal. They really support each other. They encourage each other, and the students do the same. They like to support each other. They really work hard, they really want to stay focused and do well by whatever they choose to do. Best part of my job is teaching. The not so best part is the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> we have a new band teacher, Mr. King, and a new drama teacher, Miss Caps. I guess something that maybe parents didn't know until Winterfest is that everybody sings and they sing really, really well. I love being with the kids. They are so awesome. My name is June. I've been here for three years. I want to be a pianist. The other one is I really want to be a doctor. Why build this good community? We are like really working together as a one community. That should be special. The best part of my job is getting to see my students grow as performers. And whether that be in class or in after school rehearsals for the shows, it's just wonderful to see them really grow as performers. And my favorite part though is watching them take their bows when they finish a performance. I see their faces when they hear the applause and that's just the best. When I was a kid, I wanted to of course be famous and be on Broadway and movies and whatnot. My name is Lauren Caps. I've been teaching for two years and this is my first year at Winfield. My idol would definitely be my mom. She's the strongest and most intelligent person I know. We spend the majority of our days in our classrooms or in our different performing venues really thinking and planning for our kids, wanting whatever performance they're doing, whether it's band, choir, orchestra, or theater. We're just trying to make it the best it can be for those kids and so they can have the best experience of their lives. I weirdly wanted to be a firefighter in Hawaii. And then I wanted to move to Africa and like learn African language. But I think it always came down to music. My idol is my mom. She is just a total rock star. She does everything for me. But we do a really great job of balancing athletics and, and music and performing arts and art in general that makes Whitefield a really well-rounded place to be. People probably don't know how challenging some of the things our students are doing and how talented they are. Some of the, our groups, our band choirs and orchestras, are all doing college-level repertoire. My name is Abby Rifle. I would say my idol would have to be a couple of teachers I've had, so a couple idols. I'm mostly thinking about my conducting professors that I had in grad school. They were real great mentors in my life, people who are kind, humble, really, really caring about their students, and that's what I'd like to idolize in my own life. My name is Matthew King. This is my first year at Whitefield and my 10th year teaching. I do remember from pretty early on, especially in high school, really wanting to be a band director. I like a lot of things about the community here. I really love the support and the engagement from teacher to teacher. There's really a lot of collegial atmosphere across all the staff here. The band directors in this area of Colorado Springs are also really supportive in that way. In both directions with the school and then the community at large, it's been really easy to just settle in and feel at home here. The best part of my job would have to be the musical moments that we make. Every rehearsal is like a performance. And some of those moments that we get to make musically that give you goosebumps or those really special and everything is just clicking together, the students feel it, I feel it, those can happen in performances, those can happen in rehearsals every day. And that's why I love doing this and those happen all the time. It's a really special job. The students really are great to each other, they love each other, it's a really supportive environment. But I think that this community is just one that supports and acknowledges each other and the hard work that we're doing together and it's, it's a pretty special place to be.